Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I know it's been like an eternity. I don't even know how long. Life has been absolutely crazy. Through some fortunate, unfortunate set of news, I might now have a little bit more time to do videos and kind of see where that goes, where it takes me. I've, I've always loved video games. Um, but recently, in the past four years, I kind of got into makeup, and I don't want to be a beauty guru. Oh, also, glasses are always crooked. Eyebrows are pink because um, of a cosplay thing I did a few days ago. I've been a graphic designer, user interface, user experience designer for the past almost eight years, and I have my degree. I have um, a Bachelor of Fine Arts in graphic design with a minor in computer science. I saw that the new Shane Dawson Jeffree Star documentary series just came out um, and I watched it a little bit on my phone but he actually touches on some graphic design stuff at the beginning and I'm like you know what I'm gonna just react to this because I've got some time now but yeah let's get started oh and peanut gallery by the behind got his popcorn all ready for this drama so let's get that going I'm so excited March 13th 2019 Cheeto do I need a logo yeah, you don't have to. It could be an icon of something. Oh, it could be. I hope you can't hear the audio. Yes, but... that's it. Uh huh. Okay, so I just got an email from Mark, and they have a bunch of logo ideas. Ooh. Do you know what it's gonna be? Do you have like any idea? Did you tell them what I you wanted? I told them like I, I like you know triangle. What if they form? Oh, they form. Oh, like, what, what, they they yes. what, what if they? Yes. What if they form together? together? <laughs> Their oh, friendship oh, is oh, gold. <laughs> So, um, the little thing I want to talk about in regards to logo design. I've done a bunch of logo designs in the past for corporate and uh, less corporate purposes. I'm gonna act, I'm actually working on one right now for um, a local dance team. It takes a long time. Logos are hard. You're trying to distill the feeling of a brand or a person inside of some sort of word treatment, like typography treatment, shapes. So Shane here is saying that he likes triangles, um, so that is definitely something I would take into consideration. What I usually do is I ask for the client if they have anything that resonates with them currently, anything in lingering in their back of their mind that they can send me in terms of photos, inspirations, because it'll help me kind of get into their head of what is it they like about that certain thing, and then take that thing and try to put it in um, a logo that, that still captures the essence of what they like. Triangles, let's say, like they think they want triangles, but maybe it's just the angularity and the, geom the geometry of the triangle that, uh, and the symmetry of the triangle that they, that they really enjoy, not necessarily the triangle form itself. So it's trying to like break that down and trying to see exactly what it is they're trying to tell you with like, this is what I want. So. Yeah, let's let's see kind of what they got. I'm super excited. I'm afraid. What if we don't like them? What if what if they're? Oh God. I don't know. This is crazy. So he also asks, what if we don't like them? Um, so for me, it's pretty standard that for designers, you don't have to get everything right the first time. Some people are great at logo design, and you know they do nail it. Uh, but usually, I provide for for clients. It depends on their budget obviously, uh, who do have a small budget and a tight turnaround, I offer them two, two renditions and three rounds of feedback. So I, I will show them a black and white version because you want to kind of strip it of color. You want to just focus on the shape. You don't really want to talk about all that other distracting stuff. You want to focus on just the shape alone. So I show it in black and white. I kind of like to show one that's exactly what they described, um, as close to it as possible. One, a combination of what they want and best practices with logos like it should be recognizable from large and small on a billboard and on the back of a pencil i also throw in a wild card something that they might not have thought about they review it they tell me what they like about those things and then they can frankenstein from all the different types of options i've given them or go with just one then i take it to the coloring phase and then um, final tweaks and as well as color palette options for that specific logo. You know, there's lots of other ways to do it, not any right or wrong way. If you are a fellow designer, have a different way of creating your logo packages, then I, I would totally love to know. Comment in the description. Comment in the description down below, or uh, DM me on Twitter, or Instagram, or something like that. So, let's keep going. 
It's an iterative process. So you don't have to love it the first time. But we really want to talk about Shane. Can we get deep for a minute? I'm nervous. Wait, why? Wait, Jesse's what? nervous. What's going on? Yeah. What? I'm a little nervous. What's Can we go in my office? Yeah. Can we go in my office? So. Let's go in my office, Mark. Flashbacks. They're pretty legit. I mean, you, I don't know you about don't want to hear that. So obviously. far, they've been really legit with everything. I don't think they'd send you over anything that was like whack. But then again, who knows? The, the only thing that that's concerning me on this entire project is I want to make sure we have like a really easy, simple, sickening logo. Yes. I like Jeffree Star's logo yeah. a lot. Same. See, I think, I think that's super cool. I love just, it, it kind of is like, if we hear from his previous parts, um, Oh, and it's got a little watermark down there with the signature, that's cool. But um, if we see from the previous parts, he's talked about having a black and white spiral type of pattern, drawing inspiration from the Illuminati. Um, so you can see that inspiration clearly from here. It has that pattern in the background, but then it also has the triangular symbol of the Illuminati and then the I housing the S and the D. Uh, it's kind of interesting how the S is positive space and the D is kind of created from this negative space and we can kind of infer that because we know who it is. Um, whether or not someone could read that as a D is a little questionable. Every designer has their aesthetics, everyone has kind of what they like and don't like. It's all purely subjective, but I, I overall kind of like where this is going. Yeah, I don't know about that. That's interesting too. I kind of like that he or she combined the Illuminati symbol with the spiral. Uh, instead of having it as a background, kind of including it into the shape itself so that you weren't, so that you aren't getting a circle and then a triangle and then the eye shape in the middle. This simplifies the shapes a little bit because now we kind of only have two main shapes with the dominant triangle, which I think is, is more iconic and more, you know, Illuminati. But the triangle really, it starts to suck you in. At least this is my opinion, right? That looks like a sports center. Yeah, uh, see, this is kind of an example where. Um, you're kind of playing around with what the shapes and what typography can do. So I do appreciate the, the triangular shape cutting through the different, cutting through the S and the D and um, how even the D is faceted in its rounded nature to kind of match this very rigid and angular feel. But I agree that it doesn't quite fit Shane Dawson as much as the other ones do. And I don't quite get as much Illuminati as much as I get Triangle and an S and a D. Oh, yeah. I don't know what that is, but I'm, I'm gonna- <laughs> I don't know what that is either, but they look very similar. I like- Rylan said ew. I'm having flashbacks. Clients are gonna say this uh, about your logos and I'm sure when I hand off things to clients and they show it to to their friends and their friends and their co-workers and all this other stuff there are reactions like that it's funny to just like actually see like kind of a candid reaction you don't usually get to see the reaction of um, logos in front of your client without you being there so this is kind of like being a fly on the wall and I don't necessarily dislike what's going on with the S and the D and playing with the different shapes that you can make within that space. Um, so how to utilize that triangle and cut it in different spaces that can still house the typography. How to manipulate these shapes and sometimes what I like to do is um, for a logo or icon just how little information 
do I have to give the viewer or the user for them to recognize it's a triangle, for instance, or an S and a D? How much can I defamiliarize the visual that's happening in front of you so that your eye goes, hey, that's interesting, what is that? But then immediately followed up with, oh, that's an S. Oh, that's a D. Oh, that's because this and this and that. So um, it also just depends on if, you, if you're going for recognizability or not. But I think that this is starting to read more like an S and an O and not really an S and a D. But I like where it's going because it has a little bit of a maze illusion type of quality. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like so. The last one kind of looks like what you would see as an insignia on like a superhero. And then for the D, you've simplified it to four lines, which kind of looks like an O. And flipping it upside down is interesting as well, but that's why I think it reads more superhero than Illuminati to me. Yeah, I like the first the best. But my, so far, my favorite one is the first one with the circle and then I think my absolute favorite though is the one that's a triangle with the pattern inside of it because I feel like it draws your attention in so well without having all of these shapes competing against one another. And they and these things can still be good, but you don't have to like them. That's just the first draft, right? Yeah, like Bradley said, this is the first draft. Yeah, that one looks like a football. It does look like a football. Oh, oh no. I wish I had a dog to do that with. A <laughs> football head. <laughs> Literally, what is that? Hey, Arnold. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Honey! All logos rejected. That is rough. You really thought all of them were bad? For, okay. You know when you see something, you're like, that's it. Of course. Yeah. But you need to not care about feelings and just be like, yo, sorry, I wasn't feeling them. Because I thought a few of them were sick, but if you don't like them, you don't fucking like them. Yeah, that's exactly it. If you don't like them, you don't like them. Trust me, us designers, we went to art school. Art school is a very unforgiving place. Blood, sweat, and tears. Uh, it becomes personal because it's not really, because the client is you. If you're making a poster, if you're making a logo, it's often something that you've chosen. It's often something that you've crafted a story for. It's not often that in school you, you're working for a client and it's based on their needs and their decisions. It's more of a time for you to develop your skills and your sense of self as a designer. I know a lot of this sounds artsy and I'm just like, wow, since when do I talk like this? But in art school, we literally put all of our stuff on the board and pretty much a lot of, pretty much everybody, unless you're like a stellar rock star designer, which there are definitely a few, everyone just kind of tears it apart. You pour your heart and soul in this thing, you think it's awesome or you know, you've worked so hard over and over. And then someone comes up to you, or like everybody's sitting there and it's dead silent when it comes to critique your work. And somebody just says, I don't get it. And that's totally fine. So we've gone through this a lot. This does not hurt our feelings. I mean, maybe a little bit. For the most part, that's kind of our job. We're here to help you find what the right answer is and help you find who your brand is and who you are. This is totally normal. And if you don't like something, definitely say something because that's how we change, that's how we iterate, and that's how we get both of us to something that's probably better than the first thing that we came up with. So, it's a job. Miss. It just is what it is. He always has to be. I like what he did there. He kind of... So I like what he did there. He put it on the screen and then he swiped left to right from viewing his logo and Jeffrey's logo logo. Because one of his mandates, one of one of his wants or needs um, or requirements for this logo is that it looks 
good next to Jeffrey's logo because if we can think about the palette, they're going to be next to each other. So it can help to kind of see things in context because if we want both of those logos to tell the same story, to have the same visual elements as each other, like Jeffrey is very angled. He doesn't have a lot of curves. Um, I'm not talking about his body, I'm talking about his logo. So that might be something to keep in mind and to consider. Um, Jeffrey has a thin line around the star, or the, the star is comprised of a thin line, versus his J's are rather thicker. And so can you take that idea and maybe have a thinner triangle with the S and the D kind of more bold? So yeah, that's a, that's a good thing to do. You want to be able to see it in context. You need to know what it's going to be next to. And that, that's a really big factor. So I'm glad he did that. It's the time I love this intro. I love the smoke. I love the pink fading into gray. I've never really... I love that part. Shifting through the beautiful, scary, creepy. I really like how this is done, visually. March the 13th, 2019. It's really dark. Yeah. So Are you feeling? we're selling our house right now. We haven't been back to this house oh, since the day we moved. Just months ago. No, we haven't seen it since they like staged shit and everything. No, and we're literally only here to pick up Shane's car because yeah, my Jeep is in there. This is uh, sophisticated. What? This is so weird. Wait, what is going on? I am like, this I'm is like this is, so this is oh, no. crazy. No. Okay. Where am I? Okay, so that's the living room. Wait, where is the couch? It was there, right? Yeah. This is sad. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, the dining room is Whoa. blind now. Whoa. I don't know. Like I'm. <laughs> I loved the red dining room. Oh yeah, they repainted it. Oh my gosh. Whoa. It's interesting, so I'm not an interior designer, but um, staging houses is, is interesting because they have to they have to do that sort of defamiliarization in, that I was kind of talking about visually. Um, they have to make it so that the general populace will find it appealing and kind of remove, um, as bad as it sounds, the, the uniqueness of a specific person. And in some ways, as designers, we kind of have to do a little bit of that. Sure, it goes into our portfolios, but ultimately, it's the client and the users that are king. We can put our own spin on it and put our own expertise on it, but you know, if, if your client doesn't like the color red, you, and you think red is the perfect color, sometimes it's just not meant to be. I mean, yes, you can convince them otherwise. It's all subjective, and sometimes something that we love just isn't going to be something that resonates with other people. And that's okay. It's so sad to see, like, your house, but different. But you still see all the memories there, but it doesn't look anything like you remember. It's very bittersweet, I'm sure. Oh, this bathroom does have some character. I do love it. I don't know why it looks sad. I love our new house. Like, I'm so happy we moved. But this is, like, really weirding me out. It's, like, making me very sad. So you just oh, get yeah. hit with all of the memories. Multiple years of our lives. This is weird. I guess, like, I never say goodbye to it. I, oh, anyone else do that? I say bye to places when I move out. Especially for college. It still kind of feels like our house. Yeah. It just feels like... <laughs> this is so cheesy. It's like they just put makeup on it. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's so stupid, sorry. It's true, it though. Kind of feels so weird. It's just like they did like put new, I don't know, makeup crazy. on it. Yeah. Their own like style, simple. their own flair. It's a different palette. Literally, yeah, it's a different palette. Oh. <laughs> literally, it was like highlight. <laughs> Bronzer. Guys. <laughs> Oh, That's so interesting. I love this place. I guess we should say goodbye. You can. Oh, we're the same. Oh. <laughs> you, you can. Say goodbye to the demons. Use those terminologies for pretty much anything. Highlighting, prioritizing, hierarchy. Same thing. 
what we have to say about gamma, so let's wait. Today, I guess we're gonna be talking about like how many units we're buying or something. He said it's like a big thing and I'm gonna have a panic attack. We're fucking placing massive purchase orders <laughs> that you're about to just shit yourself. You wore, he wore a diaper, right? This is kind of, you have to project how much you think you're gonna sell so that they know how much to make, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a big deal. So, I really wanna give Morphe the opportunity to talk to us on the phone and go, hey, if you want the exclusive Shane collection for just our website and Morphe stores and Morphe.com, then it has to be magical. I have to So what this. incentive are you gonna give Shane where he's like, yes, Jeffrey, let's go exclusively with them? Because if not, we'll just do my website and we'll do full motherfucking profit and like no one's ever seen. Wow. So show us what, you, what you're gonna offer. Or we pour it out to everyone. There's three options. But we're not bars. Mm -mm. Engage sluts. Mm. <laughs> that one guy in Europe that would take 30 right now. So, I mean, wow. it, to me, if they don't commit to a decent six figure number, it's not impressive to me. But even beyond that, with everything you're doing with the series, yeah, it needs we'll to be beyond it. just cool, buy this much stuff, but they need to True. support the videos, do, do other stuff for you guys and for the actual collaboration. Yeah. As Whoa. a business, right? You've fucked by everyone, I've been fucked by everyone. So, Morphe, that you're the exclusive. Machine. We're cutting We're out all the people. We're gonna use that on the KDA shoot. What are you gonna offer, Shane? Pretend I'm not even like a tiny one. Yeah. Pretend, I even want, pretend I'm getting no cut. It has nothing to do with me. What are you offering this man and his channel? Because so that's how it really works. Maybe Morphe yeah. sponsors an episode of the series. You know, Morphe, maybe you're even sponsoring episode three. You know, where's the coin girl? <laughs> what is like, even? Wow. Oh my God, Barry KDA. Did that. All right. That's, that's oh, I hear League of Legend things. Morphe, I don't. Morphe asks, "What do we think about Let's not get into it. Play the song. <laughs> <laughs> they just hang up. <laughs> Credit cards, checks, cash, cash, cash. Do you, does anyone ever go to Taco Bell and order a Baja Blast oh my God, Morphe to feel like class. Jeffrey? <laughs> Is that the third thing? Things come in threes. <laughs> Campaign <laughs> robbery block. <laughs> what the fuck do I do, mate? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? I love this. Or the shade go. <laughs> <laughs> what is that pillow? <laughs> that pillow is hilarious. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Who's here? Hola, everyone. Delicious stuff. I love them. I don't know what we're late, but you're here. You're here while I sneak peek to the palette. So like oh tomorrow is a YouTube reveal. Obviously, I oh my you gosh, I love the hair. Before, but I really love what he said in this um, in a few parts ago when he said that blue blood. Anytime he does something, he wants it to be a moment, a moment in time, not just oh here's a palette, oh here's a brush, here is everything. And you will remember this almost dynasty. But with different shapes. That pig so mirror. mirror. I love oh, it. No, I haven't. Jesus. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> wow. So Damn, these are all That's really so cool. That's so dope. And they'll, they'll be in I would wear bags. a shirt with that on. Oh my god, that makeup bag. Oh, yeah, that backpack. Dude, this is, this is your shit. The That's merch crazy. sold out in like, like you have 10 minutes. Stuff. I oh didn't... God. I was an hour, I was too late. I saw, I saw the notification an hour later. Way too late. But like, the good guy. Whoever got, y'all lucky. Oh my god, that pig. I love it, it's so simple. Oh my god, it's so dope. November 1st. November 1st. Oh my gosh. We love some, we love some jaw drops. I c oh my gosh. Oh wow, yeah. So okay. excited. So would you also be doing a holiday collection for JSC? I, I think Shane is the holiday collection. Got it, okay, okay. Yeah, bam, Shane's ending the year. I think it's like, holy shit. Yeah. Shane's the holiday, yeah. oh my God. Do you think that there might be a possibility of moving that up? Serena. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. That's supposed to say manager. Oh, this is happening. Yeah. We're gonna suit up. Okay. I just think of Garrett with his beard. Getting covered. Wow, it's all you? Whoa. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at the blue blood. Is that full? Oh, my gosh. Oh, whoa. One. 
Look at the gloss on that palette. Case. Oh my god. Got out into the trenches and bought everything. He's done his research. <laughs> That's the, the best thing you can do. Guess we'll do a giveaway. Oh, that looks like. <laughs> that looks like me like a few months ago. I bought so much of that Fenty highlighter. So this one was Illuminati. Remember we yeah. wanted a little more, you could bump up the duochrome effect so it has more of an alien shift. <laughs> this middle one is speaking to you. That looks beautiful. I could see this already needing a little bit more coverage just from touching it, so. Mm. Oh yeah, it feels really nice. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Wait, that's that's good. It's great. Amazing. Yeah. That oh my good. god. Yeah, it's really pretty. Don't right, even so play with me. So oh my god, those colors. looks. What do you think this needs? One more wearable and So more cool. Color. Wow, shimmer. Oh wow. Whoa. 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 That metallic that's green. Unnamed. Sick. Look at that. Whoa. Oh my god. I get scared of colors like this, but I feel like it's really cool. Like if it's too neutral, people will hate it. If it's like too crazy, people will hate it. But even because when she said that, I'd wear all those colors. Yeah, I'd wear every color. Yeah. I mean, if you take this out and everything changes, like are you give bored? Give or, or that's very safe and you can actually sell a million more. Like see, there it's oh, more. Wow. Like oh, it, I love that green though. Put that back in there. That looks sickening the house. It does. I love that metallic green. What Kimmy's concern is, is now you've all gone. Beautiful. Really? Yeah. You really you. changed the They're game. They're gonna buy it because they love you. I'm gonna be real. And like, this is like a palette that like people can actually wear. I wanna have some fun stuff, but I don't want it to be something where people don't use it. Like I totally get like, oh, it's a waste of, it's a waste of their money and if they don't, if they don't wear it. But I think also, I mean, all of us derive joy out of purchasing something and supporting someone who we think are really dope regardless of we if we use it or not yeah it's gonna be big we all know it's yeah. gonna be big we all know it's gonna sell out like the makeup industry it, it it can't not sell out one time that you want me i promise that i won't say nothing shut it up shut it up that looks so cool oh my god that's so, oh my god, that's so, Whoa. that's what I'm talking about. See how I called it the thin triangle, the thin line around a bold type. It helps make the shapes similar. It helps the eye read both of them as a unit, as a set. And you can see, even from this blurred out image, if you get glasses, you're kind of blessed. You take them off, you get this view. Sometimes it's great to see it like that. Even from this blurred out image, you can still kind of see that the balance of white and black in the logos are awfully similar. And the angularity of both of them matches one another much better. It's simple. I think the, I think the swirls were kind of really getting a bit distracting. They're having so much fun, but I know it's how they edit it too. It's a lot of work. Oh. It is a cookie. Oh my gosh. Wow. I can't wait. This is gonna be huge. This is gonna be life changing for both of them. And it's so great to see a YouTuber that's been at this for so long that has, I feel like, given a lot, given so much. And having his hard work, you can really, life is what you really make it. That type of dedication, that type of passion, that type of focus, making those magnetic connections. When the stars align, you feel it. And I'm so happy and excited for everything that's about to happen. I love the merch. I love the concept for the video. I cannot wait to see that promo video drop. I cannot wait to see the photos, the looks. I love all of it. Tell me what you think. Drop a note in the comments. I hope to get back to playing video games really soon. But I'm glad you could just like take a little break with me. It's been it's been a little hard, you know? It's um been a little tough for me lately. This has really inspired me to just keep going, chase your dreams, and just look out for those magic moments. Thank you guys for watching. 
Have a great night and I will see you when I see you. Bye. It looks something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah.